part two of my review on my Western Arms Kimber TLE. I just showed you how to take the slide off the gun. And I'm going to show you the basic uh, build strip. You first have to push in your barrel bushing and rotate this piece to the right hand side. Or if you're doing it this way, well, I mean the left hand side. If you do it this way, right that way. And then you just pull it out. Your, then you take your recoil spring and you push it forward and should lift up. Hang on. It's going to require two hands. Since, uh, ow, damn it. Okay, this Kimber is a little bit different than the other guns I have, the other 1911s I have. So hold on. Okay. Like I said, it's a little bit different. Unfortunately, it's not like the Wii's, so instead I'm just going to put this back on. Okay. Basically, you might have figured out it feels. I'm keep getting hit in the fingers and I'm tired of it right now. Basically, this is as far as you have to take the weapon down to oil it and stuff now to reassemble it. Got your upper receiver, your lower receiver, you mash it with a slide, you've got your pin, and then you take the gun and put it back to the second notch, or the first notch small notch you line it up with the hole right there and then you push it down hang on one second sorry about this hopefully I'll eventually get a tripod or have someone else uh, tape the video while I do this okay got it back together now you have cocking serrations on the front part of the slide and you have your front sight right there now your sights, I do not believe, are adjustable. Now you've got cock considerations on both sides of the weapon. That's your barrel. Now, what this has, this is why I couldn't figure out if I was taking it apart right. It's got a guide rod, like the real one. That is for recoil control. Let me get a different 1911. This is another Western Arms. This one's a Colt. And see, no guide rod. On the real steel, that is for recoil control. That side now. Now, let me get on to this trigger. It's one of the newer style triggers with the holes in the side. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hole right there in the trigger. It has, a, it has an adjustable trigger. Okay. The gun is very well made. It may be made of plastic, but it's Japanese, so that's what's expected. Now, Western Arms, by far, are the best gas guns on the market. They are pricey, but you can't beat them. For the most part, they're almost they're good as most as good as most AEGs. Sometimes they don't buy it the way the internals are. They're really gas. They're pretty gas efficient. You do run a risk with green gas about cracking slides. So if you want to run it on duster, for the most part, um, although if you put a restrictor inside the weapon, you can safely run it on green gas. And what that does prevents the slide from excess recoil, which will crack the slide. So basically, if you want to use one of these on green gas when it's colder, you don't have to worry as much about it. The nice thing about guns with plastic slides 
is they can function in a lower temperature than metal slides. So now I'm going to do a shooting test of the Western Arms. Standard magazine is already gassed up. Put it in. Now let me see if this weapon works. Hang on, I got one in the chamber. I forgot. I don't know how it got in there, but hold on. I want to test out and see if this works like a real one. I've never really tested it. Okay. Magazine is in the weapon. Hammer cocked. Okay, no it doesn't. But, that should have recocked, so. Shoot it like the real thing. Cock it. Huh? I didn't put too much gas on it, but and there you go. First gas pistol review I've done now, and it is of my Western Arms Kimber TLE. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll have more reviews to upcoming. I don't know what I'm doing next yet, but I'll figure it out soon. Uh, this is Eric6554, call signs Big Boss, and I'm signing out.